Hello, and welcome to Crypto Exposed. Okay, guys, I've got this article here that I thought I'd share with you. Lot, as I really think this is actually quite an important thing to discuss here, and this is where Hedera is definitely going to shine in this sense, right? So we've got here an article, and we've got the header as blockchain, the trust layer empowering accountable AI. And so when you think about AI right now, it's it's so great what you can do with AI, but you've also got to understand the dangers that come with AI, right? Like as soon as I was starting to see stuff like chat GPT and things like that, yes, I was definitely in awe of how incredible the technology is and the things you can do. But I also started to think of the dangers of what this could be as well. And so this is something that Hedera have shared this article because they're talking about how Dell T, which is distributed ledger technology, is also helping to actually keep AI basically to account, right? To just make sure that whatever is being done by AI can actually be verified to say if it is AI or not, right? Because if not, things can get dangerous real fast. So think about it like this, because this was the first thing I thought about. Okay, we've got AI technology, right? And one of the things that you can do now is AI art, where AI can just basically get some keywords to be said that they want some kind of painting to be done, some kind of picture, and AI will just generate this picture based on whatever it is that you ask for. So the first thing I was thinking about is like, if you think about like a bank, for example, and they wanted to do a know your customer, which is KYC, um, a check on a customer who's opened up an account. So let's just say you've got a person who wants to open up an account with a bank, and they're doing their KYC procedures, which is usually like they will ask for certain documents. So they'll ask, for example, like a utility bill to prove their name and proof of address. Then they will ask for some kind of documentation, like a passport or maybe a driver's license, that kind of thing. Some kind of photo ID, right? To also be able to keep as a verification method. Well, with this whole new AI technology, you could just ask them to produce some kind of driver's license with some random person's face on it, right? Like this is where things could get a little bit dangerous here. And so people could be like hackers, for example, or that kind of thing where they're using fake IDs, but then they're actually trying to scam people and things like that. Right. So then when it comes to trying to, you know, find this person or whatever, like, well, they haven't actually got a real image of this person, see, because they've used AI to just make up some image of some random person who doesn't even exist. So it can get scary and dangerous if this isn't used in the right way. And so got this article here in terms of how they're using DLT to keep this secure. And I thought, you know, us as HBAR holders, I think this is something that's real good to see because you can tell how HBAR can actually be a security layer for us as well. And also just to see how Hedera are going to try and keep AI within a certain level of restriction, right? So it can't get too wild and out of control. So let's get into the article and then we can discuss this further. Blockchain is emerging as the indispensable trust layer for artificial intelligence, in brackets AI, offering transformative solutions to critical challenges. Fostering trust and transparency, distributed ledger technology, in brackets DLT, can ensure the integrity of AI systems by validating the origin and authenticity of data. This is paramount as users cannot yet be certain of what is fake or real when working with AI-generated content. Data accuracy, user bias, and the promotion of misinformation are concerns DLT addresses when it comes to AI. DLT is broader than blockchain, but the idea is similar. It is a flexible, scalable, immutable way to record data across a shared network of computers. DLT does not intrinsically verify data. It makes data verifiable by storing it in a public ledger in the same way that blockchain does. However, DLT uses different consensus and validating methods that avoid the congestion and high fees of a typical blockchain network. DLT can offer businesses certainty in discerning whether data is coming from humans or what data has been generated by AI. Blockchain is the linchpin for bringing AI toward a future of accountability, inclusivity and innovation. I've spent the last decade of my career convincing enterprises to implement DLT. Even before I joined Swirled Labs, I was less interested in the hype side of crypto and more interested in building something that endures. Now, with so much at stake from the explosive growth of AI, it's time for a widespread call to the secure, transparent technology DLT offers for verification. 
data and user bias in AI. AI metabolizes vast amounts of data to refine understanding and performance, drawing insights from data sets. This allows AI to recognize patterns, make predictions and perform complex tasks. However, unconscious biases present in data can seep into AI algorithms, leading to prejudicial outcomes. Biased AI has significant implications for businesses, especially in regulated sectors. Consequences range from substantial fines to serious reputational risks. Organizations engaging with customers must be cautious while integrating AI models. Rigorous testing is imperative for addressing potential biases. DataRobot's State of AI Bias report found that 54% of business leaders expressed concerns about the risk of bias in AI. An overwhelming 81% advocate for government regulations to establish clear safeguards against AI bias. As AI becomes integrated into our everyday lives from social media to online banking, transparency and accountability are crucial. The opacity of AI decision making processes poses ethical dilemmas, as individuals call for the right to understand the reasoning behind AI generated outcomes that impact their lives. Fostering trust with users and regulators is at the forefront of developing this nascent technology, and it is crucial for a responsible and beneficial AI ecosystem. While many conversations center around the data input into AI models, there are further considerations with regard to ownership of the data and content that is created as an output of AI. At present, there is no legal basis in the US for humans to claim copyright or ownership of AI generated content in brackets, or any type of content created by non-human entities or animals. However, as legal frameworks evolve, it's possible that DLT could play a fundamental role in enabling creators to register ownership of the output of generative AI. For example, individuals creating images, video or text using AI could register their content on a ledger to establish ownership of each creation to ensure that it cannot be used by external parties without permission. Lack of trust in AI generated content. In addition to fostering transparency and minimizing bias, DLT helps us understand what information can be trusted. The public is now engaging with AI enthusiastically, unknowingly participating in a large scale experiment shaping the future of AI. People are exploring what kind of content detailed prompts can create. What many don't realize is that they are training AI to create increasingly accurate and realistic content. As time goes on, this presents individual and scaling issues. Beyond the issues associated with misinformation, there's cause for concern for organizations that process and deal with large volumes of data as part of daily operations. For example, how will know your customer verification tools, which businesses depend upon for compliance, deal with AI as it generates more realistic human faces capable of exploiting the existing verification processes? How will businesses that require users to submit written information be able to trust that this information is coming from human beings? Leveraging DLT's capabilities to validate data sources and enhance AI generated content becomes essential in these scenarios. DLT can ensure that data generated by people is hashed and logged on a verifiable ledger so organizations reliant on proving the verifiability of this information can confirm its origins. These types of verification solutions can go a long way in dealing with the issues like misinformation and compliance. If you want to leverage DLT for your business, look for security, scalability, sustainability and an enterprise grade network. Distributed ledgers lack a quote middleman unquote, meaning the integration process is dependent on the network and organization implementing it. A network without a great UX or fixed gas fees might land you with confused clients and a hefty bill at the end of a transaction. Once you find the above listed qualities in a DLT network, don't let go. Final thoughts. The convergence of blockchain and AI is inevitable. Both technologies can assist one another in dealing with vast, rich data. Blockchain allows data to be stored and shared securely whereas AI can analyze and generate insights from this data to create significant value. Combining blockchain's data integrity applications with AI's analytical capabilities enhances the transparency, security and accountability of AI systems.
Realizing the full potential of blockchain and AI synergy requires developing new use cases, increasing collaboration, and navigating the regulatory landscape sensitively to harness their combined transformative power. Clearly, blockchain can build a better, more equitable AI landscape for all, while fostering trust across the board. Okay, really, really interesting stuff there. Really interesting stuff. And I know like Hadira wasn't specifically mentioned there, but the guy who wrote this article works for Swart Labs, who is a developer on Hadira. And Hadira are the one who actually shared this article. So if you listen to some of the things that he said in regards to getting a network that has low fees, smooth interface, that kind of thing, you know, the UX, etc., you can clearly tell he's talking about Hadira here and Hadira uses DLT. So of course, Hadira is the name that he's referring to, but he's just not saying it out loud. So yeah, like when I've talked about AI, as I said earlier, AI is is great. It is, but we have got to be careful what AI can bring. There's a lot of things that can be dangerous to our society with AI as well. There's a lot of exploits that can be done with AI, right? So if it gets into the wrong hands and the wrong people are trying to now use this for bad, there's many ways that this can be exploited in a very negative way that could really affect people's lives. And so this is why I wanted to show you guys this, because this is where it's saying how a network like Adira can actually help keep AI more secure, right? It can verify the data to let you know, okay, is this information legitimate? Is it actually human provided or is this actually AI generated? Which is amazing, right? Again, this is where we can utilize these types of networks to help keep us secure and help us trying to mitigate any potential exploits that AI can bring. So I really just thought this was interesting. And again, it shows you just how powerful Hadira is as a network to have, because this is going to be one of the networks that could actually help keep our data safe and help keep our things legitimate, right? And so even when you started to talk about how people can use things from like a copyright perspective, right? So people are not just using the data and, you know, trying to use it for themselves. So in terms of if they own some kind of music or something like that, it's making sure that it doesn't get used without the person's permission who owns this music or this art, etc., etc. These are the great things that DLT can provide, that Hedera can provide, right? And I think it's just amazing to hear this kind of stuff. And so, yes, while we all are excited to see what AI can bring, we do also have to be careful of the the negatives that it can bring and one thing i just wanted to say that i really do agree with is like the bias in terms of ai because what you've got to understand is ai is obviously artificial intelligence but they're getting their information from the internet and the problem with that is that they're getting their information from sources of the internet and articles and things like that to generate their responses but these people are biased who wrote these articles for whatever reason. You don't always know if these people are actually writing from a balanced, neutral perspective, right? So you might ask a certain question about, let's just say about a cryptocurrency, right? And they might give you an answer to this cryptocurrency, but if they're generating all their information from like articles that people have written, well, these articles could be biased, right? They might not like the cryptocurrency or it might be their favorite cryptocurrency. So the information that they're giving you may not necessarily be actually accurate. It may sound good and you might look and think, wow, this is really detailed, but where it's sourcing the information from could be biased perspectives and biased sources, right? So that's the kind of thing that I'm saying I do understand this can be a dangerous thing too. So we have got to be careful with that. But again, this is just showing you what Hadira will be able to do in terms of mitigating that kind of thing. So really interesting article there. And I think it's great to see, again, just another thing that Hadira can do. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. But uh, but what do you guys think about this? AI being secured by distributed ledger technology. Do you like the sound of this? Is this something that makes you feel a bit more safe knowing that you're with a company like Adira that is actually helping to mitigate the scary side of AI and trying to keep it more secure? Or do you not like the sound of this? Do you think that AI should just be free and it shouldn't be tried to be insecure? Or, or do you not like the sound of this? Do you not think that AI should be secured at all? Do you think it should be free to do exactly what it wants to do? And anything that happens in between is just anything that happens. Or do you not like this? Do you think that AI should be free to do what it wants to do and it shouldn't actually be secured in any way at all? Or do you not just think this is really going to be something that's good for Adira or its price overall? Let me know your thoughts, guys. I'd be interested to hear. Thank you very much for watching this. If you did like it, please remember to drop a comment, like, and subscribe. But until next time, take care.